I'm back here with uh, video 17 of my invention. As you can see, it's running much better than it was. I got some more adjustments. Take a look down through here. here. Move this side. Running much better. I, I got, there's a lot more room for improvement. Here's what it looks like from the other part. As you can see, all these are oscillating very well. Uh, there's a lot more improvement I got. I could do it. Got a little tiny motor over here running. Real small motor. I pulled the, you know, the uh, the clutch out of there. I moved the clutches on the inside here. One right here, and then I put this little one on the end here. To try to do it. That that thing's pretty cool, isn't it? I'm gonna shut this thing off in that. Yes, yeah, so I could talk to you. As you noticed, I moved this clutch from this point here to right over here and I moved there was a clutch out here but I put a smaller one in and moved it over there so it seems like it works a lot better in that uh, I've been very much working on it. here's some uh, magnet wire I got here's some uh, heavy magnet wire there's some thin magnet wire I'm going to start wrapping my coils with. And anybody that does that, uh, it, it's, you know, the magnet coils, if you don't have coils to regenerate your power, which I'm going to put them right down inside here, you, just, you have nothing but more than a novelty. And you just don't want to have a novelty. I see these people do stuff in that, but I'm planning on ger generating power with this thing here. And, and try to get it going. Now, I don't have to necessarily go over Unity. I mean, as you could see, I got this book on uh, Nikola Tesla and all that, and, and how he was uh, going about uh, generating power in that. And I was looking how he generates power in that, how his patents and stuff are. If you take a look at all his designs and stuff, you'll, you'll notice that... Uh, Everything is just sheer power into it, and there's no finesse or anything. And you're getting a lot of eddy currents. You're dealing with uh, a lot of uh, Lenz's Law on that, and you're, you're just not going to get anywhere with that. And here's the magnets that I'm going to use that's going to go down inside here. These are a bunch of magnets. There's going to be 16 of them. i got a few extras in case I break one or something in that uh, for when I want to do stuff in that. Uh, as you can see, these magnets are pretty strong. They're going to go right down inside of here, and it's going to generate power. Another some of the problems, I straightened it out down inside of here, and it got a little bit better. But uh, like over in here, you can see where this is at right here. Um, 
how much far that is apart. That's way too far apart, and I can't accept that. I'll have to make some adjustments on that. Now these are a little bit better over here. I kind of went through the sequence of them and got them better alignments on this. It's fairly close. I'm just trying to get these distances and this exact distance from this magnet to that magnet. It's got to be exact, you know. And then you, I got to you got to keep adjusting things and stuff to get it to work right. So I just keep working with it and I keep adjusting it and trying to get it better and all this. As you can see, it's it's coming along pretty good, Nat. I got uh, I put different rails on it so I could expand that a little bit and get the distances right. I put some longer rails on it, and then I changed that also. So I, I mean, I'm going to probably put another clutch inside of here. And what I'm planning on doing is making clutches more like these. This one right here with the thinner and use it for magnets and stuff as it rotates it, it, it seems like I don't I don't need these big magnets on these other ones from testing it Nat and I'm just trying to get the oscillations deep enough to uh, to, to produce a current inside these coils and that I'll, I'm gonna start building the coils pretty soon I got a little bit more uh, running to do on this and that uh, as you see, it's been it's come along pretty good, Nat, and um, I just got to keep working with it. Once I I'm gonna have my coils down inside of here. It's gonna be like a double pivoting thing. It's gonna be mounted on here, and this is gonna pivot here, and the coil's gonna pivot, and I'm gonna build them out of aluminum and stuff. And then that way I can put whatever magnet wire I want to put in them, and that I got some other bigger motor is gonna put. Maybe try something like this, a little bigger motor, to run it, and to see if it, you know, will you know slump along more. And then I'll check how much voltage I put into it. I was thinking maybe it might be better. This one's also got a fan, as you can see inside of here. Keeps it cool in that. Those other ones are just they kind of heat up, and then they don't run right after a while, and then it just keeps going, getting worse. And then it runs worse and worse and worse until it can't run anymore. So I'm working on that. And these magnets will go all down inside there and, and my build my coils. I got a couple of little tricks up my sleeve I'm going to be doing. Uh, not going to really tell you about it right yet. But I did a lot of testing in between in that. And I got to get this thing... Uh, First of all, I just want to get the oscillations going a little bit better. I'm just, it, it's come along pretty good, but I, I think I could improve it much better than that. And as you can see, I, I might need a little bit more counterweights down inside there to keep the momentum going on. I'm going to try to put that in there and try to put a little bit more arrangement. So, it's come along pretty good, Nat. I also had the problem because this was just too big and uh, I took I, I switched to coal roll and got something with a little bit smaller diamond rod it was just too tight in there and it was binding it up and that was part of the problem with it so that was the main problem too so I'm gonna start this up and I'm just gonna show you how it runs and then I'm gonna call it quits and then we'll go on from there watch it'll start all up by itself I didn't hit it with my fingers. I didn't start all these and jump them. I mean, it just does it on its own. You can see it's running. It's pretty cool. There's a little bit of a banging noise. One of them's hitting. I'm not sure which one it is. Sometimes it stops. Sometimes it picks it up. This one, this one right here is oscillating very good. Some of them are a little bit deeper than others, but I'm just going to keep working with it until I get all of them to work. This one's right there is the most, which one is that? That one right there is not doing real good, but I'm going to try and get it to do better. Try to get them all to go like that. So I'll let you go, and we'll just call it quits for right now. Thank you for your time, and goodbye.